Good afternoon, welcome back to a new vlog. You guessed it, by the title, we are in the Cotswolds and actually my family are meeting Matt's family, my boyfriend, hello, for the first proper time, which is wild considering we have been together for eight years this year. I mean, they've met briefly, my mom and Matt's mom and dad, but this is like the whole extended family. So it's really exciting. We decided to bring everyone together in the Cotswolds, which is our happy place. And we're just very excited. Also, our dog's gonna be here, so that's exciting. So we started the morning at Soho Farmhouse, just had lovely breakfast, swim, gym, etc., and met Matt's parents there, saw the animals, had some great food. And now we are just driving through Morton Marsh, which we actually usually stay at this very house that we're driving past. How funny! And we basically come to the Cotswolds. Matt and I come a lot, but we try come with the family at least once to twice a year. And we always do this thing where after Christmas we hire a house or do something like that and get everyone together. So thought it would be nice to bring everyone together this year and that is what we are doing so i was actually invited back to one of my favorite hotels in the cotswolds it's like an entire estate and they have a few different hotels on there <gasps> so i can't wait to show you it but i'm gonna wait it's gonna be a secret until we get there so let's go i cannot wait to show you Checking in, it's my dream fireplace. Beautiful. Big isn't it? It's really big, yeah. Okay, so time for a tour. We are staying in the Hoot, which is a private house that you can hire out inside the grounds of the Fish Hotel. So we come in and it's like a higgledy-piggledy upside down house. We have this incredible lounge and it comes with all of these gorgeous board games gorgeous views how beautiful the sun is going to set soon so you're going to see that beautiful little table and then oh my goodness i can't wait to light this fire bedrooms this way they even have some arcade games some old school books and then through here honestly i can't do this justice look at the room so we have lots of bedrooms i believe this maybe sleeps like i feel like it sleeps 12 adults <laughs> I think there's seven bedrooms actually. I will link the website below so you can check it out. Busy basking. This room, the views, oh my goodness. Mom and I have actually stayed down here before, owned by the fish. And the design is just absolutely beautiful. Shabby, chic, beautiful, laid back luxury. This is another room, love the light fixtures. And they all have en suites as well which is so special. Cannot wait for the family to come. I've got everyone little gift bags and itineraries. There's me, I need to get changed. And then we're gonna go through here. So it's just in there. And we have even more bedrooms through here. You walk through, you've got another beautiful roll top bath. I mean, look at this. And an absolutely incredible bathroom shower can't get my words out and then another bedroom with again immaculate views through here the bedrooms are just so cozy and lovely okay and then through here we're gonna go downstairs so we go downstairs and the artwork is absolutely beautiful everything just has such personality in here we then have another room called Barking. Now this is really big. There's two rooms in here. Kind of like conjoined. So this is a single. Beautiful single though. Even the single rooms are just absolutely beautifully designed. And then through here, I love this chair. We have another room. Da -da -da. This is just like a cute little room to sit in and I absolutely love it. Look at the views. Gorgeous views. And then we walk back out to, you guessed it, another bedroom with actually loads of great storage in this one and another bathroom. I told you this house is absolutely huge and I haven't even shown you the best part yet. Well then, have I done all of this downstairs bit? Nope, more bedrooms. Absolutely beautiful. This one has a little sofa in it. This one is huge. 
look at this. And again, look at those views. Absolutely beautiful. And another bathroom. I can't believe this has its own lounge. Wow. Through here we have a little single, which is called Little, which is so sweet. Even the little room is gorgeous. Everything is just designed so beautifully. We then have a little outside area. And out here, we basically have a barbecue, a big dining table, and a hot tub. Best bet. Oh my goodness, look at this kitchen. So basically you can hire this out, you could have your friends, your family, and it's on the grounds of the Fish Hotel, which you guys probably know I've stayed at Dormy House, I've stayed at the Fish. It's just one of my favorite hotels in the world. It's on the Farm Com Estate in the Cotswolds. Dormy House is amazing, the Fish is amazing, and the Fish has all of these quirky little things tucked away. And this is not a little thing, this is a big thing. Look at all of these little touches with like the owl, and it's just absolutely beautiful. They think of everything, so many little details. At Farmhouse, we actually bought some sourdough, and look, they already thought of it. They got us sourdough, they got us shortbread, even salted butter. How incredible, so cannot wait. Just need to wait for the family to come now. How excited are we? I know. Oh, and there's a ping pong table somewhere. Can't wait to go and see that as well. I know. So we are going to go and get our luggage and then I've got little itineraries that I print for everyone. I have goodie bags that I've got for everyone. I cannot wait. This is just like the absolute dream. The kitchen is huge. I'm going to get Matt to put the log burner on for me for when everyone arrives. I'm just so excited. And then we will get all the snacks out. I've obviously brought loads of snacks, loads of wine. So really excited for you to come along and see this with us. But this was basically my dream Cotswolds house tour. Seriously. This kitchen is just incredible. Love that they have Temple Spa toiletries. I absolutely love Temple Spa. Every single detail is great. This is our home for a very nice long weekend. How lucky are we? I'm so grateful. I'm just going to get my bags. This is our home. I'm so grateful. I can't believe I get to do this with my family. Bittersweet because my nana won't be here and every year we kind of do the Cotswold thing for my nana. It's the first time we've done it without my nana, but she's here in spirit. I brought her necklace, so I know that she's here with us and hopefully the sun's gonna shine and it's gonna be her. We'll raise a glass of Baileys to her because that was her favorite, but I'm gonna grab the bags, get everything ready for everyone to arrive. I'm so excited for my mum to walk through the door and my auntie and my stepdad and my stepsister. The whole gang's here and Matt's parents love it. So can't wait to bring everyone together. Family means everything to me. So yeah, you know when you see something on a website and you're like, wow, it looks amazing. The hoot is way better in real life. Like it's amazing. So happy. The itineraries are ready and the goodie bags are ready. Poor, good, ready. Oh, is this little bit. one right here? Mum knows. No, oh, baby girl. Food is going out. Yum. We're from the flowers and flowers. She's here in spirit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, dear. I know. I was telling the vlog that she's usually here. Nice. That's in um, America. America, I think it is. That's oh. on London. <laughs> of course, Matt's watching the football. Calendar. It's the one that I got you for Christmas, Christmas. but they only just yeah. arrived, yeah. Because you were asking the other day, weren't you? Yeah. They had. Oh, Love her. Look at that, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Matt has cropped out almost, but <laughs> still in it. Like his photo bombing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
so the last few hours have just been spent catching up chatting eating eating all the snacks so many snacks so grateful and then i went in the hot tub with the family we watched the sunset it was honestly beautiful and don't ask me why i'm walking around in circles but we are heading out to dinner now mom and i are actually both in stripes and we're heading to a place called the Ebrington Arms, I think it's called. I should check my own itinerary. Basically, Charlie recommended this. If you guys follow Josie, which I'm sure you do, my beautiful friend Josie, her fiance, Charlie. Charlie Irons recommended this. Whenever I need a good place to eat in the Cotswolds, I will contact Charlie because he knows his food. Hungry man about town, this guy knows his food. I mean, not to my own horn, but I know my food, and Charlie really knows his food, so I had to go to him to ask for the best place near here. The hook that's actually in the estate is really good as well, but it's only dog friendly at the bar, I think, whereas this pub is dog friendly everywhere. So, and yeah, also, that, that love to try new pubs, to try new places. Size, to be honest. So, yeah, wait, you'll see. Mum's wearing matching strike. <laughs> How cute is that? find a bowl to take <laughs> oh that's okay it's uh, some toast and I'll let you off thank you some, the one that left is only the one that thank you first looking good it's time for a morning family walk around the estate we had cheese last night after dinner it was so good just on a morning walk and Mabel thinks that she lives here Matt and I actually stayed in one of these ones. How much fun was it when we stayed in it? And they have the tree houses, which everyone just adores. Uh, so does she. It's Mum and I's favourite hotel. Absolutely loved it in the grounds. Huge playground. Any other stuff though. Going to play! Oh, <laughs> Shop. You want to go into Oka? Come on then. <laughs> Come on then. I absolutely love it in here for home. Uh, they do have the garden, but I don't think there's any furniture in it today. Oh, I love this pink light. I don't think they've got any. Oh, they do have some outdoor furniture, but not much left. Mum, they do still have some some outdoor furniture but when we came in summer this was full of incredible furniture and this ochre store is just housed within a beautiful Cotswold house no not much left but I think it might be on sale you know pretty certain it's all on sale I mean that's why most of it's gone yeah it is on sale X display oh my gosh well this one's 447 from 1150 now that's a way to do it, but how lovely that it's kind of like housed within a Cotswold house. I'm loving this green striped set.
I love this sweet shop. All the good stuff, and you can do it by way. A bag of jazzies. Oh my gosh, I have my favorite cinder toffee. I just love this shop. <laughs> Matt really needs some sugar. Yum. Some sweeties, mateies. Oh, there, Matt. I'm going to pinch mine first. Oh, oh pear drop. Matt, I think they're pear drops because we've got two lots, but they look different yeah. from pear drops we normally got. Yeah, they look like pear drops. Yeah. 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 Hello. Yeah, I've been eating one. Pear drops. Oh, What's next? Like Moment of truth. Oh, I don't know what they are. Aniseed twist. Aniseed twist. Mm, yuck. Guys, comment below. Do you call these snowies or jazzies? Or they call them brown rainbows? I've got some uh, bed drops. Oh, oh my twist. twist. We got a little bit of everything, to be honest. Apples too. Everything to be honest. I love a bonbon. You don't like bonbons. No, no, vanilla bonbons, apple bonbons, <gasps> strawberry bonbons, toffee bonbons are very good. Yum. I think between us, we got the entire sweet shop. All of us. Cards here are so good. If you ever wondered what the house of my dreams looks like, it's this one. Absolutely incredible. I'll take this one as well. Absolutely beautiful. I've got sweets in my mouth. We are just walking around Broadway. Just gonna head into the Ligon Arms. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. To get a cup of tea and maybe some cake. I'm just eating. Um, rosy apple sweets. Does anyone remember them? They're so good. This is where we're heading for a nice little drink. Let's go in to the Ligon Arms. Oh, lots of doggies in here. Where are you sitting? Oh, thank you. Best shortbread ever. Oh, wonderful. Okay, the shortbread that came with our drinks was so good. And I was telling the man that works here, and he said he made it. So he brought us some more out. Cold drinks. Did you not? Oh, yeah, you got cold drinks, so you didn't get to enjoy them. Do you want a bit of shortbread? No, don't waste it. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. I, she's possessive about fish flatties, I'm possessive Sit. about... Sit, Paul, Paul. No, I'm not giving Paul Matthew. Oh, good girl. Good girly. You having Don't a nice life? Yeah, yeah. So we reluctantly left our beautiful countryside house this morning. We went for a lovely, lovely long walk through the fields. Then we had lunch back house because we have so much lovely food there and we kind of want to like embrace being in the house but now we are just in Broadway which is actually one of my favorite Cotswold towns I don't know if you call it a town or a village but it's just beautiful the houses are incredible it's got cute little shops so we're on the hunt for some candy just a nice little walk and oh my gosh we're so lucky the sun is out the sky is bright blue incredible
straight into the hot tub. Now we're back. Look at that view. I just went in the hot tub. Oh my goodness. The sunsets from the farm Farncomer estate are just insane. I was saying to my mum, because we were in the hot tub together, I was saying, oh my goodness, the things we have been through at this hotel, we came a few days after my nana died, we have just really had like so many emotions here and it's just such a special place to us and we were saying the amount of incredible sunsets and sunrises we've watched here we're just so grateful so dressed i'm actually wearing the short version of the long dress i was wearing today i love this dress so much i'll show you it in the mirror i'll pop it on screen and now we are all heading over to the fish so this house is in the grounds of the fish we're heading to the slippery slope for dinner i need to put my shoes on matt and i did this a fair few years ago and essentially, this is like a winter experience. It's gonna be incredible. And I'll show you what we're doing, like cheese fondue. And oh my God, in summer, when it's not dark, the views are amazing and I just can't wait. So this is such a treat. And if you stay at this house, you can have like private caterers. Oh, you can have chefs come in, you can self cater, or you can go and eat oh, at the slippery slope. Sorry, I'm trying to get my shoe on. Or you can eat in the fish which has a restaurant called The Hook, which is one of my favorite restaurants in the Cotswold. They do a great, 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 great roast too. So let's go. I am never gonna tell you. Matt's leading the way. So in summer, this is all open and mum and I actually sat out here and had our breakfast. I was just telling the vlog, Matt, how good The Hook is, which is this restaurant. This seaweed butter is so good. And then up here, we are having our dinner at the feasting deck. How special is this? You get your own sourdough. Oh my gosh. They literally run. Oh my gosh, it's sausage! Oh, maple doodles, you are spoiled. That's so kind. Keep stirring the cheese. <laughs> yeah. It's so special, isn't it? And the fact that we've wanted everyone to try it for so many years. That'll be an eight three dessert. And it's got the dessert. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Mark, if my eight is as good as that. <laughs> it's got the approval of the family. Morning from a sleepy Emma. <laughs> He's sleepy. Oh my goodness, last night was amazing. So it's called Feasting on the Deck, and it's something that Matt and I did years and years ago and we've always wanted to bring the family back it was like a dream never imagined we'd be able to bring the entire family back the space is beautiful like the stars are above it and the stars in the Cotswolds are incredible like we don't see stars like that in london and it's kind of just like yeah a wooden deck i don't know what you call it because that sounds like it's fully outside it's not it's like really cozy like a wooden building I would say a wooden outbuilding that's on top of, I guess, kind of a hill. 
and you overlooked the Cotswolds and inside was kind of like Scandi vibes. We had like toffee vodka to start to warm us up. Then we had sourdough and the most amazing fondue. And oh my goodness, you have to book that because it's just like a five minute walk from the property and it's all catered for with your own chef from The Hook, which is one of Matt and I's favorite restaurants in the Cotswolds. And oh my God, everyone loved it. Um, people were like oh my gosh that was just incredible and yeah it was so 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 great they let us take some of the desserts home with us this morning we are just driving over to Dalesford. it's like a 25 minute drive because i am doing a reformer pilates class with josie to do so much yoga and pilates when i lived in canada kind of before it was like trendy and cool and a tiktok thing and like instagrammable but I just got out of it because I'm like a hit princess. I just love hit. I love my blaze classes. But something I'm really trying to do is more reformer. So I bought myself a pass and I've been doing quite a lot in London. I've been in like two to three times a week. And so far so good. I've been I've been keeping up to it for like the last six weeks. So I'm going to stay in the Cotswolds. I'm actually going to Dalesford is going to be amazing. Dalesford is one of our favourite spots in the Cotswolds. I'm sure you guys know that. I've shown it on so many vlogs, so much Instagram, but I did meditation here in Bamford. Bamford's like kind of the spa part of Dalesford and it was incredible. It was the first time I've ever done meditation and I've also done yoga there, so I know the Pilates is going to be amazing. So see you in a moment, Josie. Yeah, Stowe's really nice. In summer, this village goes absolutely crazy busy, doesn't it? This is the calmest I've seen it, actually. Yeah. Saying to my, I absolutely love my Pilates and bar when I was in Canada, so I get such a high when I do a class. We're now heading back to our beautiful home heading down fish hill and the drive the driveway to the hotel is just amazing and there's loads of hotels within the grounds so loads of hotels loads of rooms within the grounds then we have the big beautiful house so go and get the family i'm gonna have a snack get ready and then we have clay pigeon shooting today which we are so excited about it's going to be so much fun we have beautiful weather the views are sensational i cannot wait Yeah, I'm gonna have some yogurt and some fruit. <laughs> okay. And just like that, I'm ready. That was quick. I wanted to show you a few beauty bits I've got because I love that. And then to clay pigeon shooting we go. I love that they give you temple spa at this hotel. I'm just packing, so I thought I would show you some stuff. This spray is great. Oh, I love this. I do have an Elemis promo code. I think it pretty much ends when this video goes live, so... Be quick, if you want anything, this makes your skin so glowy. I put it on my skin yesterday and under my makeup and I was like, oh my goodness. This, I love it, you can't beat to L'Oreal hairspray in my opinion. Leave-in product for washed hair. Oh, I've hit pan on this twice now. Such a great product. Also, love Evelon, this is a mini. And then I have been putting this on my nails every single morning. I got my nails done at London Grace the other day. I love them so, so, so much. And this is just nourishing them. As always, I will link all of this stuff below. Do not fear, M is here, M has got you. This is a new lipstick from Revlon, which let me show you. Do we like it? It's actually quite autumnal, but I quite like it. Okay, I need to go now, we need to check out. I don't want to check out. <laughs> Look at this view, how incredible. <laughs> yes, please. 
Yeah. Air defenders and glasses behind you. Lovely car as well. Can't really hear much with this. It's a bit too loud for Maple, so she's just sat relaxing in the car. Matt did well. He got 10 out of 12. That's pretty good. High five. That was so much fun. Look at the view and look at the weather. That is incredible. Everyone did amazing. We did a competition at the end. I actually think I came joint, joint, sec, joint second, joint first. Sharon, did we come join first? Me, you and Mike. Oh, I came triple at first. That was quite good. I didn't do very well at the start. Okay, get to get the car and head for lunch. I've got a sweetie in my mouth because we got so many sweeties yesterday. I've got my cap on. I don't see a cap, so I'm quite liking this cap. And we are heading to Chipping Camden now. We were actually going to head back to the Ligon Arms and have afternoon tea, but I said we should probably go to a different village. And Josie was like, "Go to Chipping Camden, Camden, Camden. Why can't I speak?" So that is what we're doing. Everyone had so much fun. That was so great, wasn't it? Great bonding activity. I was actually saying we should have maybe done that on the first day of the trip because then everyone would have like bonded but everyone bonded anyway so it doesn't really matter we've been like playing cards on an evening and they had like board games but basically if you get one of the hillside huts or if you stay on any of the farm com estate they can organize things like that for you so they were the farm com activities team and they come in their little defender but it was amazing they have archery like pigeon shooting they even do yoga next time i'm organizing a group yoga session for everyone I did have a look though, they didn't have any classes on Sunday. But next time, oh my gosh, this has to be a yearly annual tradition now. Clay pigeon shooting, card games, maybe some yoga. To Chipping Camden we go. This place gets really high reviews, but sadly it's closed on a Monday. Well, look lovely. Look how big these marshmallows are. Lovely chocolate. We have lots of Cotswold things. They're famous, apparently. She's got a sausage roll. You're, you're not still hungry after all you've eaten. Mm -hmm. You're raiding the sausage rolls. Houses are just incredible. Hello vlog, I am back in London now, trying on some gorgeous dresses that I got delivered. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how amazing the weather was for our Cotswold trip. It was such a dream. We spent our final day exploring Chipping Camden. Oh my gosh, had the best cake, the best scones. I need to go on a sugar ban, I say that, and then look what arrived. I hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers, oh my goodness. So I got a cake, and I am so, so, so grateful to every single one of you watching this right now. If you've subscribed, I know that 100,000 is like, really nothing in the grand scheme of things now because everyone has millions of followers but if you were to put a hundred thousand people in a room it's still quite a lot of people and i'm a big advocate in celebrating wins no matter how small or big they may be so i'm proud of myself and i'm really really grateful to you guys for watching and just yeah i was like i'm gonna go on a sugar ban after this trip because i ate so much sugar and then i just decided to eat loads of cake so that's basically been what's happening but it was so successful 
popping my family and Matt's family together in a house. It was just incredible to have everyone together. We had the best food and I'm just so happy. So wanted to leave this vlog here, but there is a highlight on my Instagram, mshellx, and I've saved everywhere we went and everything. Would love it if you would come say hi over there. And if you haven't subscribed, let's make it 100,001. Thank you so much for being here. I love my new dress. Speak to you guys soon.